My name is Matthew Mingione. I'm one of the maternal fetal medicine or high-risk obstetricians here at Riverside. Uh, and I've been asked to talk a little bit about shoulder dystocia. Uh, shoulder dystocia, without a doubt, is one of the scariest things that we as obstetricians encounter. Um, if you can imagine, a shoulder dystocia is when the fetal head is delivered, but then the shoulders are caught behind the pubic bone. Um, and so literally the baby is stuck somewhere between the in utero and ex utero world. Um, and it's a very frantic moment because we know that the umbilical cord is constricted at that time and we have a very limited amount of time to safely get that baby delivered before the baby may suffer the effects of oxygen deprivation. Um, and again, for especially those women that have had babies, you can imagine if a baby is stuck, there's not a lot of room for the obstetrician's hands to get up there and manipulate the baby, which is exactly what needs to be done. Um, so it's, it, there are a lot of maneuvers. It's something that we drill our residents on incessantly so that they're prepared for that moment because when the baby's stuck, it, 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 and, and you'll probably witness this at the show, it's a terrifying moment. Time seems to stop. Um, and, and I'll tell you, I, I personally would rather have someone literally bleeding to death on a table because I know how to fix that than have a baby caught inside a pelvis because you, you just never know if, if, if your efforts are going to be enough. Um, fortunately, they mostly are, um, but it is a truly terrifying event. Uh, and, and if you've ever talked to a family that's experienced it, um, I can only imagine what it's like for the family's viewpoint because it feels chaotic enough from a care delivery standpoint, let alone the family that's experiencing it.